deep in the foothills of the Himalayas, there lived a very wealthy merchant. He had so much money that he could buy anything he ever wanted. He started to buy frivolous things such as gold clothes and gold shoes, gold knives and forks and plates and cups. Everything he had in his house was gold. One day, when he was out in the marketplace, he started to boast. You know, I have so much money that I can buy absolutely anything I ever want. In fact, for a laugh, I am willing to pay someone 1,000 gold coins if they are brave enough to stand in my frozen lake from dusk till dawn. Well, as you can imagine, nobody came forward. But after a week, this news reached a very, very thin man who lived with his very, very thin daughter, whose name was Rohini, in the edge of the forest, in a very thin tin hut. There he said to his daughter, Hey Rohini, I will go and stand in this man's lake. I will bring us some money. And so off he went. He got to the rich man's house, and the rich man looked at him and said, <laughs> We'll see if you can manage it and closed the door upon him. But when dusk came, he rolled up his little thin clothes, his summer pyjamas, and he put his shabby jacket on the bank, and he crunched his way through that frozen lake, in up to his knees, and the ice recollected around them. And there he stood all night long. And when dawn came, he was so cold, he was blue. He pulled himself out of that icy lake and staggered up to the merchant's front door and mustered just enough strength to knock upon it. When the merchant came to the door, the merchant changed his mind and suddenly didn't want to part with his money. So he asked a thin man, how did you manage? The thin man told him, I looked at a little lamp in your window and I focused upon it all night long. And the rich man said, see you cheated, get out of here, I shan't be paying you. And closed the door on his face. The poor, thin man went home without the money. When he got there, his daughter Rohini saw that he had not got the money, and she was furious. She ran to the kitchen sink, and there she took a jug, and she ran all the way back through the forest fast and furious until she got to the merchant's door and there she kicked out and she ran to the kitchen and got a glass and she went to that merchant and she slammed the jug and the empty glass next to him and she said with her hands on her hips Mr. Merchant I want you to imagine that you are very thirsty and I want you to imagine that you can pour water that isn't in that jug into that glass and drink it. Now, Mr. Merchant, I want you to imagine how my father kept warm by looking at a little light in your window. The rich merchant went crimson, for he realized that he had broken his promise and he walked over to the side of the room without a word and gave Rohini a large bag containing 1,000 gold coins. <laughs>